Hi there, I'm Dr. Daniel Hemmings. I'm a lecturer in finance at Bangor Business School. I work predominantly in the areas of corporate finance, uh, which relates to the financial matters of uh, corporations, of businesses, how they raise the finance that they need to grow, um, as well as how they decide on how best to invest that finance. Um, I also work on corporate communication, how companies then communicate uh, on financial matters to key stakeholders. Um, as well as behavioral finance, uh, which relates to the application of psychology and psychological insights to financial decision making. I hold a PhD in accounting and finance. Um, I've been actively studying and researching uh, in the discipline for over 10 years now and continue to be deeply passionate about teaching finance to each a uh, new generation of aspiring, ambitious Bangor Business School graduates. It's a real shame that we're not able to meet you in person today amidst what is now emerging as an economic crisis as well as a, a very serious health crisis. Uh, now perhaps more than ever do we recognize the extent to which our way of life is reliant on the smooth functioning of our financial and capital markets to support businesses and employment. But also how much we need new talented ambitious graduates to ensure the future success and stability of our financial system. Financial expertise are necessary and underpin careers within investment banking, within insurance, and so on, but also within industry, within accountancy, within investor relations, within the public sector, within law. And so there's little risk of financial expertise being viewed as a useless skill. Broadly speaking, finance as an academic discipline involves the study of money and the way that money is used. This will include a focus on traditional institutions formed around the use of money, such as stock markets, which have been around for centuries, but also more modern examples based around innovations in financial technology, such as cryptocurrencies, which have emerged only very recently. Although finance is very often preconceived as being a very mathematical, a very quantitative discipline based around the calculation of financial amounts. It is actually a social science, focused as much on explaining and predicting financial decision-making and human behavior within the context of financial decisions by individuals, by companies, by corporations, by financial intermediaries such as banks and by governments, and often with a view of improving financial decision-making within those various contexts. Each of our finance modules at Bank of Business School are based on distinct areas of focus within finance. For example, we have modules on personal finance based on individual level financial matters. We also have modules on investment and financial markets designed to develop the expertise required to trade in financial securities, such as stocks and shares, bonds, um, as well as within currency markets and derivative markets. Much of that training takes place within our dedicated trading lab where we use specialist trading software to demonstrate the key principles of securities trading. We also have modules on corporate finance based on financial decision making at the level of uh, the corporations as well as corporate governance and regulations that focus on controls put in place to ensure appropriate decision making at those levels. Um, and we also have um, some more innovative modules in financial technology as well as uh, behavioral finance and we're always looking to develop our provision. Um, the next direction that we see modules being developed is with in and around sustainable finance. Another thing that is important to mention is that most of the staff who deliver the finance modules at Bangor are also research active and much of the research that was conducted at Bangor Business School is published in world-leading peer-reviewed academic journals. Some of the staff who work at Bangor also work with and as advisors to key policy makers such as the Financial Conduct Authority and the European Central Bank. 
Why this is important to note is that uh, it means the financial education of Bangor is state of the art. It is delivered by experts in the field, but it also means that the lecturers continue to be enthusiastic about the discipline, to be still studying and eager to find out more about the field. So hopefully this short video has given you a bit more of an idea of what it might be like to study finance at Bangor Business School, as well as hopefully an eagerness to find out more. So one thing I'd like to say, if you do have any questions, we would love for you to get in touch. So please, please do do so. Finally, thank you very much for your attention. And I really look forward to hopefully meeting you at Bangor in the new academic year.